Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously. Create dozens of quick lists. Display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Sorry about that, uh, the battery was dead. So, um, so uh, the, 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 uh, the, the markets are going down. Uh, they, they were going down strongly this morning uh, because of the problem in between, between North Korea and the uh, United States. So North Korea said, uh, uh, told the, the uh, um, uh, U U.S. Uh, president that uh, if he's going to do something, they're going to attack a, uh, an American territory called Gu uh, Guam. It's in, uh, it's in it's an island in uh, uh, South Pacific somewhere. And uh, so uh, the, the, there was uh, some uh, worries on the market this morning and right now. Uh, it's still uh, going down a little bit, you know, it's not the, the end of the story. Something is going to happen with that. And uh, so this morning, first the gold went up, most of the, 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 the market went down. And, uh, but uh, the movement did not continue. But uh, as I said, something is going to come up. So, so far, it is very limited. Uh, the Nasdaq went down, but came back. So we only have this uh, 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 drop right now, and on the, on the Dow Jones it's not very very big, but so far uh, it's down and it's not coming back. So we'll see later if if something else happened. So the SPY is down too uh, slightly, and the TSX as well. So the actually there is no uh, bullish momentum at all on the market right now, and. Uh, 
but there are uh, things uh, to watch you know uh, look at that here this is uh, the uh, crude oil price and uh, uh, it, it's still very close uh, to break out and uh, the the gas uh, did this morning and the stocks are not doing the movement uh, uh, following the movement of uh, the crude oil but if if they were if they do it's going to be clear so there are several stock that you should watch there that represents a nice potential because uh, they have reversed their downtrend. So at uh, 11 bucks, the Novus would be interesting. Uh, uh, Meg Energy would be interesting at 530. Uh, Husky uh, could be uh, nice at the, like, you know, it, it broke the support very shortly this morning and, and came back after. So uh, let's make it like $15 would be the price uh, to buy that and uh, a couple of other stock but don't choose those stock that are there at the bottom you know they're not the strongest so you have to favorize stocks that has followed this uh, new trend so Baytex was close to break out now it's really close to break down but you gotta wait until the stock break three dollar seventy five and look at the gold the gold went up this morning and the gold stock the gold stock went up to until they came back a little bit. So uh, the, uh, you have to check that. So uh, if, if the uh, TTGD uh, goes up, you know, uh, HG, uh, uh, HGU is going to be interesting. And uh, in the mining, it's the end of the bullish cycle. So right now it's not, no longer the time to buy in it, even try to protect this, uh, the, your position if you have some in there. And for all the rest of the sector, they do nothing or they are in a correction. Uh, so uh, it, there's nothing, nothing is worth, you know, to, uh, to acquire a new uh, position there uh, overall in the market, uh, except a certain uh, stocks that, that could be uh, nice. But, uh, you know, the market is, is still worry and uh, who knows what's going to happen. So. Uh, I find uh, the uh, the traders really hesitating in buying long this morning. So, uh, uh, you know, so 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 we better uh, stay calm and uh, and and try not to trade too much, you know, because any nice buy signal can turn out to be a false signal if the market would accelerate. Uh, uh, down again, which is not happening yet. You know, I think uh, 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 Trump may shut his mouth for a little while <laughs> because when he opens it, you know, uh, the uh, it, there are some uh, consequences. And uh, you know, I think you you cannot joke about uh, the uh, president of uh, uh, North Korea because uh, this guy. Uh, is ready to do anything. So I think uh, with the, the answer that they have provided uh, to Trump uh, is going to uh, be maybe a little bit more reserved in the future. Maybe, you know. <laughs> uh, so many people don't believe that. So Let's see what uh, we uh, can find uh, here uh, this morning because uh, there are there there, there have been a, a lot of uh, movement. Uh, let me uh, show you here uh, what I was uh, uh, what I'm thinking about. Uh, so on the TSX uh, we have 13 breakout right now, uh, and uh, uh, and uh, Stantec was breaking out so strongly uh, this morning. Uh, was it? the uh, their their earnings uh, yes it's it's earnings 45 cents to 51 cents except that right now there's only a buck out of 30 dollar in potential because the resistance is in, in a very short term and uh, you have rocky mountain i'll see and stella jones and most of them are financial result and um, let's see uh, uh, franco nevada also is on uh, earnings they have uh, they they are they were expecting 25 and they got 25 so um uh, other than uh, than earnings uh, report uh, it's uh, you know it's not clear what we can buy and that we don't have really really nice buys in on the tsx uh, there's a little bit more stuff uh, 
in the on the U.S. market, where uh, the Nasdaq uh, market here at 25 breakout, but there are 76 breakdown. You know, so some of them looks good, but uh, they're still big quotes. And wh whoever has uh, the, the the best uh, movement, you know, like. Uh, some stocks are way stronger, like Alarm.com here. You know, the stock is very, very strong and keeps and keeps proceeding. And and today, again, look at the volume has been very strong again on the stock. And uh, and uh, what else? Uh, what else? I have uh, and, and that's about it. You know, that's about it. It's pretty hard to, to find very, very strong and very nice signal. And uh, Acceleron Pharma here is nice too because he's got two and a, and a half to three bucks to go until the top. So the stock is very strong. But you know, uh, we don't have, despite the fact that there are numerous breakout, not many of them uh, do uh, represent uh, nice buys. Hey, look at the. the I'm, I'm looking at um, the um, the index uh, right now, and uh, look at the Dow Jones is coming back, so um, it's heading down again once more through a double support here. So it looks like we make them we make them down at the bottom of the day, and that can happen on the Nasdaq market too. You know, uh, I, I think the the. the uh, the investors are, are nervous a little bit and look at uh, look how fast it's coming down While we were talking look it, it was coming down fast. So maybe something else came up again uh, The question bar is uh, is that open is that the question bar open so please open the question bar to let the people uh, asking uh, questions and um, so, uh, yeah, two minutes there. So, you know, uh, it, it, it hasn't been a, a very nice day. It's a tough day, uh, hard to find something, you know, uh, because the goal was close to break out. It didn't happen. The, the oil stock were close to break out. It didn't happen. Uh, all of the other sector are uh, showing a correction uh, right now. So we have things ready to go. And 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 and, uh, and uh, in the resources with the gold and the crude oil, but all of the other sector are uh, have no bullish momentum at all. So it's pretty tough to, to acquire a position, and you don't want to get position on stock that are coming out with their earnings, despite the fact that they make big uh, jump. Because I just want to show you something I have checked uh, here. I went to uh, Garuda TV on Friday. You know, I, j I just took the, the Friday um, um, breakout and breakdown that happened most on earnings. And uh, let me uh, uh, show you uh, what, what happened. So you see those big stock that uh, the, those big movement here all happened on earnings. So I want to show you that when they come out, when the, the earnings are coming out, and, and, and the stock are jumping on earnings like that. Uh, uh, not many are continuing the movement. So look, this one did not continue. This one is still up there. Uh, this one is still at the same place too. Marinus Pharmaceutical is at the same place. Uh, Saish Therapeutic never broke through the resistance. Look at this one, PDL Pharma. And NeuroClin is always the same, you know? So, uh, and we have one here that looks good, which is uh, Omeros. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now.
real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunities. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. So just to continue a few seconds on it, you know, uh, I, I did some uh, cycle. I said, okay, this one started, went sideways, and then is breaking out today. So now this is nice. But look at most of the others. I made uh, a range circle here at the top of those big uh, movements. So you see, Money Text did not move. Aon is coming down. Retrofin is staying there. 51 job, okay, we have a new, a new cycle there, but not the first, you know, it's a secondary. Uh, 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 a bullish cycle and a uh, uh, freight car stayed where it was you know and this one too and this one too and this one too so oh this one was a, a breakout and and then look it it it, it went a reverse after and uh, 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 Adesto is still there too Hawaiian Telecom and GoPro and Windstop and, and look the one that came on breakdown Clean energy stays there. OFS capital has continued, but this one stayed there. This one stayed there. This one stayed there. This one too, you know. So this, oop, this one again, uh, and this one too, you know. So with this number of stock that don't move after their earnings, it's not a good idea to buy stock when it comes out on earnings, even though the earnings are good and even though the stock has gone up, you know, and. A very small percentage keeps going after. So uh, let's see here uh, where we're at. Uh, so the Nasdaq market is still okay, and the Dow Jones hasn't uh, went down a little bit more until uh, its support. So you know it's a kind of a market where we should stay more quiet and. I, I don't say that there isn't a couple of uh, uh, signals that are interesting. I showed you one a, a couple of minutes ago, but there aren't many. You have to be very, very selective and maybe go smaller in the positions in, in, in situations like that, you know. But I think uh, you have to keep an eye on stock that fabricates uh, 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 anti-missiles uh, weapon. And, um, and also look at the bearish BT, uh, ETFs in case that the market would accelerate again on the downside. And uh, uh, we had a, a few here this morning. Okay, I no longer have them right now. Uh, oh, okay, so, uh, uh, but you know, all of those uh, uh, SQQQ and uh, TZA and, and those things like that, you know, see if the mar if if Trump comes out with another commentary, of, of course, and and the market suddenly suddenly plunge. So you always have you always have to have something in hand to be able to play the market down when it happens. So, but it's pretty well uh, all what we got this morning because uh, that that's that is the situation on the market. Uh, the the, the 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 sectors were all already. Uh, neutral before this happened. So when this, when since uh, the uh, the problem with North Korea uh, happened yesterday, uh, now all the, the, they totally lost their bullish momentum. The technology became bearish. Uh, the real estate are very close to it, and the financials also. You know, so there are so many uh, sector that are uh, really really close uh, to uh, 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 c come back down once more. Uh, like uh, the uh, financials are back down once more, the real estate are there at the bottom, uh, the healthcare has broke down this morning, the uh, technology is almost breaking down too, you know. So uh, uh, there is nothing uh, positive there when all of the sectors are going down. So I think the best thing to watch now for the very short term are stocks that would break like. Uh, uh, like like new gold here for instance okay 
So if, if he breaks out here, and there was a new gold is in this situation, and, and a few others, Kirkland that was stronger than the other could break out too. And in, in the energy sector, I showed you a, a few stocks like uh, uh, Synovus, Meg Energy, uh, Husky, and, uh, and uh, also another one here, uh, Baytex, and a couple of others, you know, if they, if they all together are breaking out, it's going to be an opportunity for a few days uh, to make money in this sector. So well, this is it for, all, uh, for, for now, folks. Thank you very much for being with us. So we'll catch you next time.